Parents are furious after a free day program for students bit the dust on the very first day. The Neighborhood Learning Alliance tells KDK that it wanted to create a safe space for students to come and do virtual learning. But Megan Schiller talked to parents who are giving the spot a failing grade. The front of the building has a bullet hole. The side of the building covered in graffiti. Parents said they came here to drop off their children in this side door and unmarked entrance. But when they walked inside and saw what was inside, they quickly left. After trying to do this one handed. First grader Colton will spend his days at home. Good shot. After his mom took one look at this place. It was very disappointing. It was very disappointing. You said you started to sweat. Yeah, I was absolutely sweating. I was like, uh, like I didn't know what to do. Like, I, I didn't know how to approach situation. Like, we needed to leave. Mom Coral Agliori signed her son up for a free day program run by local nonprofit, the Neighborhood Learning Alliance. When I first walked in, it was a very musky, damp, wet smell. There was a lot of nails on the steps on the sides, like if you would just rip carpet up. And I was just like, oh. Maybe five more steps up will be a little bit better. It was unfortunately not. The Neighborhood Learning Alliance's executive director tells me, quote, we are disappointed and saddened that parents had a bad experience yesterday. He called the downstairs space, quote, safe and functional for 25 students, saying landlords are in the process of renovating the stairs and the upstairs space to serve more children. I don't know who they're bringing in there unless they're bringing in TLC to renovate that thing in one night. Mom Melanie Lamont snapped these pictures showing the main space with desks, the bathroom, and the unfinished stairs. No air, no ventilation. Um, they didn't even have a fan in there. No toilet paper, no soap, no paper towels in the bathroom, just a toilet. The Neighborhood Learning Alliance shut the spot down on day one, but tell me, quote, the site is ready to go, but will remain closed until we're able to address the technology issues. Somebody needs to answer for this, okay? Because if there's any funding being given, given to anybody for what? Where did any of that, what did you fund? Because it looks like that building has been sit there, they put desks there, and nobody's touched it. Now, Pittsburgh police tell me they didn't have to come here to shut it down. The Neighborhood Learning Alliance had already locked up by the time the officers arrived. The parents I talked to say they just want this to serve as a warning for other parents. Reporting in Knoxville tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.